Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Last time we brought the Espers back to Thamasa to make peace with the Empire, so looks like both sides are willing, so there we go. Alright, let's go through the ending then. And what does this line mean? Now, in this version of the game, I know it's a mistranslation. She's not literally saying she's hot, uh, like physically hot. Or, uh, now, and I remember in the Game Boy Advance translation, she says, they're pretty hot and heavy, huh, Grandpa? Uh, referring to Locke and Celis, but even then, I never saw Celis show any amount of affection for Locke at all, so I, I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, maybe Locke staring at Celis's rack there, but, I mean, I don't know, that just doesn't work for me. What did she say in the original Japanese? <laughs> I know that laugh. Uh-oh. How'd he get out of jail? Well, there's ten of us and one of him, so I'm sure we can take him out. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> yeah, one of them almost runs him over. What are you going to do now? Uh, oh, yeah, we're, well, Kefka's on his own side, I suppose. I was going to say we're on the same side, but not really. Ow! Those things are kicking our ass. Uh-oh. Gestalt let him out. It was a ruse all along! Oh, come on, as if you couldn't figure that out. When has an empire ever, you know, made peace and actually meant it? And even if they did, the only time I've ever seen that, like even in a movie, is like the, the evil empire makes peace, but then some right-hand man or whatever who really is evil uh, overthrows the guy, the emperor or king or kills him and, you know, and then they become evil again anyway. So now they're going to burn this village to the ground. This town needs an enema. <laughs> uh, Leo, you could do something other than just standing around. Or does your honor not allow you to do that and just stand there and be shot? Good job, Leo. Well, hey, what's going on? I can actually control Leo! Alright! Let's check him out! Wait a minute. He's black? He's white as day here, yet his character palette shows him as black as midnight. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it worked in Blazing Saddles, but... I just want a little consistency here. Huh. That's weird. But anyway, we can't access his equipment directly, but if you press left, we can see what he's got here. He's got an offering, and that's like the X-Fight command in Final Fantasy V, and it's some of the best equipment in the game. Wow, that's amazing stuff. Let's take out one of those magic tech armors. You can get him, Leo. Oh, crap, it's Guardian. Let's see if Leo stands a better chance against them than we did. Crap. Run! Get out of there, Leo! No, no, we can't take these guys out or run from the village or anything like that. We have to talk to Kefka. If you will ever get out of there. There we go. I hate the run system in this game. Worst one in all the Final Fantasy games. Well, Final Fantasy 1 did a pretty bad job of it too, but... Okay, Leo versus Kefka. Get him! Let's see what that shock ability does. Put an end to his evil reign of terror. Wow! That's pretty good for an ability that costs no MP. Man, Leo's got some pretty good evade, but not perfect evade. Let's just use our physical attack. That does more damage anyway. Wow, it's pretty strong with an offering there. Even at the end of the game, it'd be pretty hard for me to match that kind of damage. Well, not really, but... Anyway. The Consummate Soldier. All right, well, we got him. Or did we? Uh, 
Oh, no, he's still around. Emperor Gastal, I have little money. Oh, he's here. How'd he get over here? I suppose he has magic. He could teleport. You mean you were an evil bastard all along? See, I wonder if, like, back at Doma, the reason Gestal called uh, Leo away was so that uh, that would allow Kefka to poison the people, and Kef and the Emperor knew that all along. You know, and he knew Leo would never do that. I don't know. But it's a thought. Oh, come on, let's keep the fight going. Get him, Leo. Don't just sit on your ass. Or you could trip over your own feet. Great job, Leo. No! I wanted Leo to join my party and give him a better name. I apologize to anyone in the audience named Leo. What's going on? Yeah, I probably won't be talking too much during this part, viewers. Well, he could feel this from all the way over there. You know, making a, uh, or blocking the entrance to your world with some stones, forming a skull, not really scaring me. I mean, it didn't work for Ganon in Death Mountain, back in The Legend of Zelda 1. Just leave the door wide open, why don't you? Of course, all espers can fly, absolutely, including the whales. I don't know what Carbuncle's gonna do, cast Reflect on yourself and then just sit there for a while. I don't know. Where is that place? Oh, it's right here. Uh, turn slightly to the right, there you go. Sorry, we missed. We're going too fast. He neutralized his own guys, too. Wow. Now that's evil. How's he doing that, anyway? Pretty good magic. I wish I could do that to get more magicite. But they'd probably want to actually have a fair fight. Yeah, Kefka's got like near perfect evade as he gets hit by fire. <laughs> That's like the Second time I've ever seen Kefka get hit by Ifrit or one of his relatives. Yeah, that's the X Zone spell. Instant death, all enemies. It's pretty good. I guess it turns Espers into Magicites. Whoa! Killed six espers at once! It's a pretty good spell you got there. He's going after the sealed gate now. Leave the door wide open, why don't you, espers? Yeah, we're still in Thamasa, but uh, apparently Kefka spared the rest of the village. I don't even know why he cared about the village itself. I mean, I guess they have a little bit of magic, but... Yeah, sorry, Leo's death, 
just doesn't do it for me. By the way, he was the one I was referring to in the uh, trailer episode. Just so you know, not any of our actual controllable characters. Shadow, huh? Oh no. Well, at least Interceptor made it out, but... And what's a ninja dog gonna do without his master? Well, at least we got Strago and Realm coming with us, but... Oh yeah, what about Edgar and the others? They were still at Vector. And can we stop Kefka from getting through the sealed gate and getting his hand on the stone goddesses? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.